My journey in Chor Mahalem Bakhtiari province continues towards Farsan to visit Piragar area. Pretty sure the audiences who love politics and history will certainly enjoy this program. Piragar area in Dehcheshme village attracts tourists seeking fresh air and spring water. The area also has some famous stone inscriptions, which are about a very important period of time in the history of modern Iran. Piragar stone inscriptions date back to the Persian Constitutional Revolution. They were created by the order of Bakhtiari commanders Sardar Zafar, Ali Quli Khan, and Jafar Quli Khan Sardar Asad. The inscriptions are brief documents explaining the events of that historical period of time in Iran. Documents that describe the victories of Bakhtiari troops in Tehran and Isfahan. Documents that tell us stories of braveries of Bakhtiari rebels in battles against Qajar monarch Muhammad Ali Shah and his troops. Piragar stone inscriptions have led us to the city of Jonagan and a mansion where a Bakhtiari commander and hero used to live. Ali Quli Khan Bakhtiari, who is also known as Sardar Asad, was the chief of Bakhtiari tribe at the time of Iran's constitutional revolution. In 1909, Bakhtiari tribal forces under his command, with help of modern arms, successfully captured Tehran as part of the revolutionary campaign to force the central government to establish democratic reforms. Sardar Asad was truly the champion and savior of Bakhtiari culture at his time. An intellectual person who studied different languages and visited many different countries in his lifetime. A hero, not only for Bakhtiaris, but all freedom fighters in Iran. This mansion, or as some people call it, the castle of Sardar Assad, due to its role during the constitutional revolution, was a place for congregations of rebels and freedom fighters. A place where most likely the planning of major battles, like Tehran and Isfahan, happened in it. A place which was probably full of joy and celebration after the victorious conquest of Tehran by revolutionaries, which led to the success of the Persian Constitutional Revolution. In every corner of Sardar Asad's mansion, you can see photos, paintings, and other symbols of that historical period of time. <laughs> با توجه به مطالعاتی که باستان شناسان انجام دادن برمیگرده به بسیار از آثار برمیگرده به زمان عصر نوسنگی و اینکه در حوزه میراث فرهنگی ما حدود 630 اثر ثبتی در میراث فرهنگی داریم که همینها کاملا شناسایی شدند و 11 موزه فعال در حوزه میراث فرهنگی وجود داره که اینها میتونه در I can tell you that I am very proud of this country or history and its brave people. Stay with me to take a look at the historical architecture of this region. Just another reason to feel the sense of pride. At the beginning of a gorge called Tangia Dar Keshvarkesh, we reach Khanovi stone arches which date back to thousands of years ago.
The structure was built in a period between the Sasanid and the Ilkhanid eras. The name Khanovi comes from a local Turkish dialect, and it means house of Khan or master. But the structure was used for different purposes, such as cavern sarai and military base. This amazing structure is truly a piece of art because its builders, who were very smart people, used no mortar to put these stones together to build walls, rooms, and specifically arches. It's just unbelievable. It sounds like a Lego game that kids play, but actually it's a lot of complicated architecture, physics, and different art. For thousands of years, natural disasters such as earthquakes, heavy storms, and floods were not able to completely destroy this structure. And today, it is our responsibility to conserve and protect national heritage sites like this one. So there will be cultural and historical icons that our kids and future generations can be proud of. Shahriyar Azimi for Iran.